Sweet Baby. An appropriate name for a company that, like an infant-shaped candy dropped on the floor and forgotten, is apparently swarming with flies. Someone on Steam made a curator page called Sweet Baby Inc. Detected, which, as of now, simply lists all the games Sweet Baby Inc. itself claims to have worked on. This is for the purpose of enabling people to avoid games that have their involvement but could of course be used to do the opposite, or even used as a neutral reference. A curator page recommending not buying something isn't a voodoo curse that mind controls people into not being able to buy your games. More info to consumers is good, in my opinion. It's just a convenience, and if it's not relevant to you, don't sign up to the curator page. No, private info has been revealed. These are all games that are out there for you to buy, some from huge publishers. I mean, look at this. It's just, here's the game, here's the proof of Sweet Baby's involvement. Here's product, here's company involved in creation of product. What's wrong with doing this? I couldn't tell you. Remember those flies I mentioned, though? To them, the people directly involved with this Sweet Baby Inc. company, this constitutes harassment. In their minds, this is dangerous criminal behavior that must be stopped by authority. Credit to Niche Gamer for this screen cap. I saw it myself, so I know it's real, but didn't capture it before the account of this supposed sweet baby narrative designer went protected. The Steam Curator Harassment Group Sweet Baby Inc. Detected is led by this person. At Cabrutus Rambo. Here's them trying to be slick so they don't get reported. Even with the discriminatory language filed off, the group itself still fails the code of conduct. They have examples like the guy saying he changed it from saying Sweet Baby tainted the game to Sweet Baby worked on the game. What a delusional snitch. If Steam TOS doesn't let you do what this guy's doing, Steam TOS should change. Anyway, report the fuck out of this group, and report the creator, since he loves his account so much. Ladies and gentlemen, apparently, merely gathering publicly available data about a company and products it's involved with in one place is harassment. But spotlighting an individual with the goal of, for purely vindictive reasons, getting their Steam account restricted or removed, is nothing. That's business as usual, not anything totally demented. Sweet Baby Inc. isn't sending their best, folks. Talking about a company is not harassment, even if your commentary is harsh or even brutal. And this curator absolutely doesn't and hasn't previously even come close to going as hard as one could. In fact, with the purpose of the curator being to warn people off of buying these games so they can have nothing to do with Sweet Baby Inc., it's the opposite of a harassment page. Harassment is a pattern of unwanted contact. These guys are trying to get the hell away from Sweet Baby and never hear from them ever again. It's the absolute least harassmenty thing you could possibly do. Felix Kramer, another sweet babyite, also had something to say about the curator group. Steam doesn't have guidelines for curators, as far as I can tell, that would prevent someone from starting a curation group that focuses on, say, Sweet Baby Inc. and warns people to not buy games they're associated with, which could just list any game at all. Oh, gee. I suppose curators could also lie and say a game has footage of real murders in it. They could say all sorts of insane things. Oh no! But they didn't. So, the Twitter bio doesn't say you're a writer, but maybe you should try your hand at it. You're quite the fantasist. At this point, I don't even care about any of the DEI cringe stuff, weird connections, or whatever else people have been talking about. I have to agree that it's wise to avoid any involvement with Sweet Baby Inc. just on the basis that the people who work with or for it are deranged and might try to mess with you if you talk about the products they're involved with. I wonder if they have 
or will try to pull anything more privately with anyone who reviews a product negatively and mentions sweet baby involvement in it. Kinda creepy. Thanks again, Felix Kramer, for inspiring me to think about what could happen. Do you see the difference here, though, where my speculation is based on something that has actually happened? You guys being absolute freaks? This little flicker we've seen on Twitter is concrete, right in front of you, real and unacceptable. The degree and details of their exact involvement in a game's narrative or whatever else, that's more nebulous. This is right before our eyes. Major publishers and devs, too. Here you have it. These people are insane. They're in no position to consult anyone regarding anything. The first hint should have been the weird-ass Epstein vibe company name and branding, but now there's no denying the iniquity of at least some individuals involved with this operation. Look at it like this. If they make themselves look like this, how do you think they're going to make you and your stories look? These are the experts who are going to help you make, quote from their website, more empathetic games. These people, these are the ones you want advising you, the ones who are having schizo outbursts on social media over someone relisting which games their company worked on. They're who's going to help take the industry in a more mature, inclusive direction. Jesus Christ! It's a shame that curator group isn't going harder on them. But, as usual, that's just another one of my harmful opinions.